we have problems with the executive branch that are not just political. I mean, I, you know, for 17 years we've had pay caps for civil servants. And so it's created a, a serious deterioration in the quality of the civil service. Very dedicated people, but, you know, if you're a young, talented person going into the civil service after about eight years, you've reached, you're within 90% of your lifetime earning capacity as a civil servant. Well, how many want to stay 32 more years? You know, when you know that that's the case. And so we, we are seeing a weakening of the civil service, and we have an obsolete system for the civil service. It's kind of an old General Motors assembly line model. And, uh, and so I think the combination of things that come together in the wrong way uh, to make it much harder. Now let me, let me, before this is too negative, let me end by saying it's why it's, I think, so important to have organizations like LMI or other, I'm, I serve on the board of MITRE, uh, I think why FFRDCs, my, uh, LMI, Noblis, other companies are so important in this landscape because we're doing the work that the government needs to have done, but by a combination of things, pay, uh, uh, obsolete civil service practices, etc. The government can't do it. So it needs to have it done, and it needs to have it done by people who have a disinterested interest in the public good. Not, uh, that's not to say there's anything wrong with people that are trying to make profits. I think that's, we need them too. But there are things that we need. The, the world is more complicated, and there are things we need to have done for the government that has the government's perspective. And I think that's what LMI does. So I think what you're all doing is more important now than ever because our government is getting weaker and we, we can't afford to have a weak government.